Just your start. Five, four, three, two, we have main one, engine start. Zero. Let's lift one, off. Two, three, four, five. And we're seeing six. normal reactions. All personnel like switch to channel four for security. Where do we come from as a life form? And where are we heading? A Native American tale by the Ojibwe tells us it will all end the same way it all started with destruction. In the beginning, a visitor called Gananda Wayanong burnt all life on Earth. But the Holy Spirit Jimanitu warned the Ojibwe to roll themselves in mud and so they survived. What's fascinating is, who was the visitor? Gananda Wayanang means long-tailed, heavenly climbing star. Maybe something like this. I know what that is. That is a gigantic drifting ice cube, roughly the size of Manhattan Island, also known as a comet. Comets are the leftovers from the pudding that made our solar system. They dwell in two groups, one near Neptune, the other by the edge of a solar system. Is seeing a comet a gnomon? 1066 England. A comet appears in the northern sky. King Harold of England believes it foreshadows his doom. William the Conqueror sees the same comet, but he believes that it is an omen of victory and decides to invade England. 1519 Mexico. Aztec Emperor Montezuma sees a comet and believes it is one of eight signs that his empire is at an end. That same year, Spanish ships carrying warriors land in Mexico. Coincidence? Even in China where astronomers have been observing the sky for over 2,000 years. Comets are believed to be evil stars. July 16, 1994. A comet falls on Jupiter. Jupiter's gravitational field had already ripped the comet into fragments. When these ran into the giant planet, the largest one released an energy equivalent to 12 million Hiroshima's. What if our planet's big sister had not been there? Look at the Tunguska event in Siberia. In 1908, a small comet low density asteroid exploded just before hitting ground. Trees were incinerated and fell within an area as wide as the city of London. Rewind further and you'll witness creation of life on Earth. Lightning in our planet's atmosphere synthesizing acids and sugars. By trickling into the oceans, they made a soup from which sprang unicellular life. But some scientists whisper that this soup of life did not entirely come from Earth, but also outer space. How could our biological building blocks come from there? To import the fragile components of life from interplanetary space, you need something like this. A chill mobile container. And the closest thing to these in outer space are comets. Could a comet loaded with acids have brought life to Earth? Consider this. A baby is the result of one sperm fertilizing one egg. But each sperm has such limited good fortune that 50 million, 50 million, 50 million are released at a time to give reproduction a chance. The analogy is that a few comet impacts may just not have been enough 
to fertilize Mother Earth. But, but recently, a new type of comet was found that changes those odds. One of those tin cans in orbit has detected thousands of miniature comets crashing and burning in our planet's atmosphere every day. Each mini comet the size of a truck instead of the size of Manhattan. Where do they come from? Possibly there's a whole cloud of them. A planet grazing it every 26 million years would trigger an adequate rain of mini comets. Of course, none of the planets in our system has an orbit that lasts anywhere near millions of years. What we need is a planet with a radically different orbit. Maybe, just maybe, the sun captured a planet from a different system. That would explain the highly eccentric orbit that would last millions of years. Nomadic planets or drifters have been observed. They roam the galaxy until they fall under the gravitational spell of a star or planetary system like ours. What are the chances this actually took place? Then again, something is triggering those mini comets. Are comets the horsemen of the apocalypse that will usher our doom? Did they impregnate this beautiful cosmic egg we call Earth? The creator may be the destroyer.